Life on a glacier in the eastern Alaska range is hard enough. Add to that, riding and filming big lines in an unruly environment, and Jeremy and his team have their hands full. To make their month on the glacier a little easier, they brought along Lucas Merrill to maintain camp, cook, and help the team just get by. Oh yeah, boys, it's time to be dead. Well, I'll tell you how you get to be the cook on a trip like this. Is you <laughs> actually need a super stacked resume that has nothing to do with food. Yeah. <laughs> I've really tried to yeah. bring in some younger guys to keep that knowledge going through to guys like Lucas. I mean, he's learning stuff that Tom Burt taught me. <laughs> Lucas is dropping. When we hire a cook, we find a cook who's got the most dialed mountain skill set around. And that's how Lucas got the job. And then without even realizing, it turns out he's also this incredible up and coming shredder. It's amazing to be out here. I'm so fortunate to be here. It's you know, something that I've basically been in my dreams. To keep the team running, Lucas will spend hours each day melting snow for water, cooking enough calories to give them energy on long climbs, and by backing up Ed as an extra safety guy in case something goes wrong. Lucas represents this next generation, and I look at snowboarding and go, you know what, it's in really good hands. After Jeremy's close call sliding down the face, the team decides to head to lower elevation lines to search for better snow. Still have hopes and dreams of riding that, but we will see. There's the one main thing that we're just drooling over and freaking out about, and then there's a plethora of other riding. Best snow we've seen in the trip. Yeah. We weren't nailing these epic AK lines, but it was still really fun to be there and be in that place and snowboarding. It may not be on the face, but we're that was really enjoyable. So we're gonna go out for some more. mid-elevation rollers, kind of the best nose down low, so we're just getting our surf on. Hoping for a warm, wet snow to coat all the ice that's on the steeps right now. It's always like you get out there and make the most of it, so we're like, even if we can't ride that, there was good snow on these other things, so it was just goofing off and doing big slashes and hanging out in the sun. I'm still holding out hope for that, which is why we're still here. But we need like a perfect cocktail of conditions to make that happen. And uh, now that the weather's switched with the southwest flow, we at least have a chance for some weather. We were riding every day, we were getting out there. But yeah, you want, you want to ride the objective. You want that trophy line. After a week of waiting for weather to come in, the team gets what they wished for. And an old saying comes to everyone's mind about being careful what you wish for, because you might get more than you bargained for. <laughs> I'm afraid to look at my town. It's not nearly as buttoned up as this one, and this one's shaking a lot. Pretty big blow going on. It's gonna be a loud night, for sure. The team has a sleepless night ahead, as the wind and the fear of camp being destroyed keeps everyone up. One of the most burly storms we've had in all my trips. How well is this suit built? <laughs> 